Hello guys, welcome to Geeky Mindset and today we will see how we can set up Jenkins in your local machine and how we can trigger job through GitLab. Okay, so here you can see I have searched for Jenkins download and the very first link you can see Jenkins download and deployment. You need to click on it. Then Jenkins download page will open and you will see two versions of Jenkins are there. One is LTS and another one is the latest release. So we should download LTS version because it is stable. So here you need to download dot where file. You can see the first one, generic Java package dot where. When you click on it, you will uh, the downloading will start. So I have already downloaded it. So I'll just cancel it. Then and also like uh, if you have a Java, so you also need to check the Java version. So Jenkins only support Java version 11 or 17. So here you can see like this Jenkins require Java 11 or 17. So you can check it in your command prompt. So uh, in my system I have already downloaded Java version 17. You can see here. So it will uh, support and will run fine in my system. So if you see in downloads here we have a Jenkins. Uh, .var file so we need to run it through command jenkins dash var and we can drag and drop this file in command prompt or we can enter the uh, path of a file where this file exists okay then after this we need to press enter key when we press enter key then it will start installing okay so we need to wait for it Then you will see the password. You can see here the please use the following password to process the installation. So when this setup will done, then uh, we will open the Jenkins in browser and it will ask for this password. So you need to enter this password or you can also find this same password in the uh, this file initial admin password file Out below this. You can see the path. Okay. Let me show you the file in this file. Uh, let me open this you will see the password See here. This is the password. Okay, the same password Now our Jenkins is fully up and running and uh, the installation part is completed Now we will open this in browser and check whether it is completed or not. Let me open this local host colon 8080 Okay so here you can see it will open and it is asking for that password which I have told you. Uh, you can also see this is the path where you can find. So here I am copying this password and paste it over here and then you need to click on continue. Uh, after pressing continue you will see two options install suggested plugin and select plugin to install so i prefer install suggested plugin because it install all the required plugins automatically so let me click on this install plugin so you can see all the required plugin automatically getting installed then you will see the admin user page here you need to enter your username and password and your full name and email address so here I am entering username as admin and password as a admin so we generally prefer admin as a password and a username then I am entering my full name you can enter yours and here I need to also enter the email address so then we need to click on save and continue after that it will ask for Jenkins URL so I am entering localhost right? colon 8080 then save and finish so Jenkins is ready to use and now you can start your Jenkins now we will install one plugin which is GitLab okay so we need to click on manage Jenkins here on the dashboard page then after that you can see here manage plugin right so with this with this we can install plugins right so here there are many options available plugin installed plugin so if you want to check if whether the plugin is already installed or not then you can and click on install plugin and enter the quick live and check so it is not showing it that means it is not installed now i am going to available plugin and entering the git 
and you can see it is loading and you can see here it's a black plugin so i just uh, check the uh, checkbox and click on install without restart and it will start installing that plugin which is selected so you can see it is currently showing pending pending and it will convert into success after that uh, you need to go back and now let's uh, go to the gitlab and set up our webhook you can see here there are already two projects so let me create one new for you but let uh, for that we need to click on plus icon then new project and uh, it will open the page here you will see create blank project and you can name anything of your project uh, i'm entering demo webhook and then uh, select private or public it's your choice now create project okay after click on create project you can see the project is created with readme file because i have already checked the checkbox of Re readme file okay now we need to go to configure system in manage jenkins right in configure system we will see the url of jenkins so jenkins url is very important because we need to enter it in webhook url so let's see in meanwhile we will set up the gitlab webhook so here we can set up webhook by two ways like uh, you can see here in it's uh, one is integration one is webhook so in, in integration if we go to integration you will see the jenkins option so in jenkins you will see jenkins here right if you uh, if you click on it you will see the options like uh, uh, project name username password and url uh, so this is a little bit complicated but uh, uh, today i'll show you the uh, very easy way so we will go and set up the webhook so you can see here in settings you will see webhook option here you just need to enter url and secret token secret token i'll show you in your jenkins job you will find it okay so let's come back to jenkins and here you can see jenkins url right it's showing right now localhost 8080 but uh, gitlab webhook is not work with localhost so we need to convert it to the public ip right so to convert it to public IP, we will uh, use ngrock. ngrock is a software you can say, and uh, with the help of that, we can convert our localhost IP into into public IP. To download ngrock, we need to go to the official site, and you can see for Windows option. In Windows option, we can directly download from this by click on download button. After downloading the ngrock. Uh, we will extract the folder so right click on it and then extract it then uh, you can see ngrock right now we also need to sign up on ngrock for that you can click on sign up button okay so here you can see the sign up button so, uh, so sign up button is for authentication token okay so i am signing up with google and after signing up you can see here all the instruction so you can see uh, my authentication token is there so i need to copy this command and run it on command prompt okay so let me clear this window now add add the authentication token okay it is added now uh, if you see this uh, ng rock http command so here uh, we our local host apache is running on 8080 port so we need to enter 8080 and after that uh, you will get the public ip let uh, we need to copy it and then register it on chrome browser or any browser after that you will see visit site button you need to click on it and then you can see i am able to access the jenkins okay so now this ip is become the global ip if anyone can open this ip uh, then they will able to access our jenkins okay so now we also need to uh, configure the same ip in our jenkins as a url okay 
so we need to go to configure system option in this we will see the Jenkins section so just scroll down Jenkins your location so in Jenkins URL we need to give this IP okay and uh, it is uh, saying uh, URL is invalid because because I forgot to uh, add uh, slash okay at the end so let me add one slash here now you can see it is gone now we need to click on save button uh, so this is the URL of your Jenkins so this URL we need in GitLab so let me first create one job so you can enter any name like demo uh, GitLab webhook and then free style or then ok uh, now our Jenkins job will created so you can see configuration page here in description you can give anything like going to trigger a job from webhook gitlab webhook right now here gitlab connection it is not required and then you will see many options here also git is not required right now because we just need to trigger job from gitlab so if you want to uh, configure this source code and you can do that now I am configure the one string parameter only so it's like a environment and default value I am setting uh, demo environment because uh, to print the value any like this okay and here we don't need git and you can see here build when a change is pushed to gitlab so we need to check this option right okay so it is necessary to check this option then little bit scroll down click on advanced and you will see secret token right and here we need to click on generate it will generate secret token and this will we will use in our gitlab here you can see in webhook op option the secret token is asking and we need to paste it and here you can see url this url we need to copy and also paste it over here okay so that's it and here in trigger option we also need to check this checkbox push event there then we need to click on add webhook button and then i am going back to the jenkins and and set up the build steps to print the some message so like we can do echo triggered by gitlab and i am also uh, printing the environment like, right which the environment which i configured on the above okay this is the parameter name let me cross check so you can see here it is the environment that's correct let me copy it and paste it okay yeah it's correct now let me save this job so we need to click on save button so it's save now both are done and let me check it by uh, manually right let me click on build and it start uh, building the job okay and here you can see this uh, webhook which we have added okay so let me wait to finish that webhook with one uh, so you can see uh, this is completed okay it is one build number one so you can see this uh, printing message now i i will change on gitlab i'll change in readme file so let me edit this file readme so we need to click on edit button and i'll just enter th anything like uh, you can see hash and gitlab that's it now let me commit changes so after this it should automatically trigger the job in jenkins okay so you can see this is this is triggered by gitlab automatically so here you can also see started by gitlab right so this is the thing only so this is very simple this is very easy to configure so hope you understand this and this video will help you hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more stuff Thank you.